What's going on everybody, MFK Clicks here and welcome back. Today I have some PlayStation 4 information for you. Um, it was just released yesterday on PlayStation Access. They uh, answered 10 of your questions about PS4. I went through, I found the things I thought were most relevant, things I personally wanted to know and I thought you guys might like to know as well. Um, in the background I do have some gameplay, it does start off kind of bad, but I do end up getting a swarm that's just there for you guys to watch as I tell you the information. Um, so anyways, as I said, PlayStation Access did do the question and answers yesterday, and the first thing is, PlayStation 4 is confirmed to have party chat. For those of you that don't know what that is, um, Xbox 360 had the function where you're able to get a group of 8 people into a party and you could talk to them no matter what game they were playing as long as you had a headset and it was really convenient it was one thing PlayStation 3 didn't have you did have the chat rooms but that wasn't anywhere near as effective you would have to stop pull it up and type you couldn't just talk with people so PlayStation 4 is driving the social interaction factor they are including a headset with the system at launch which is another thing that PS3 didn't do Xbox 360 came with the headset so as I said they are pushing the social interaction also on a social scale um, PS4, uh, they have bumped up the maximum friends list. PS3, they had a friends cap at 100, I believe it is, and I believe it's the same for Xbox as well. PlayStation 4 is confirmed to have 2,000 friend spaces. So, me as a YouTuber, that does benefit me. I'm getting friend requests all the time. I'm always having to delete people, and it just works out a lot better knowing that I'm allowed to have 2,000 friends, and pretty much anybody that wants to play with me will be able to play with me at that point in time. And I don't have to worry about deleting people, all that. Um, the next thing is, as a lot of you already know, uh, PS4 and Xbox One, the confirmed starting hard drive size will be 500 gigabytes. The good thing about the PS3, though, you were able to change the hard drive within to upgrade your memory and all that and it is confirmed that you will be able to do that with the ps4 as well so i personally think that's really cool and you can never have too much memory so the fact that you can go beyond 500 gigs i'm sure they'll release later models with larger storage size but it's cool that you're able to upgrade that right off the bat um the next piece of information i have is the psn id will carry over um, for those of you that have a PS3 account already, you will be able to carry that account over to the PS4. As of now, I am not sure if you will be able to change the ID or if it will stay the same. Um, from what I have heard, it is rumored that you will be able to download all your games that you have downloaded on your PS3. So any digital buys you have of DLC, games, all that, I have heard that you will be able to do that on the PS4 as well. Um, it's also rumored that it hasn't been confirmed that you will be able to in some way notify Sony of the games you have on your PS3 and be able to digitally download those on your PS4 console because as a lot of you know PS4 is not backwards compatible with the PS3 at all and I personally hope they do have a way that you are able to play PS3 games on the PS4 it'd be really cool I'm a PlayStation fan and I don't just want to drop Can't all of my confirm. PlayStation games for the new PS4 games. Like, I would still love to play Black Ops 2, like, a year from now. I'd love to play MW3 and all that. And I personally hope they allow some way to do that. As I said, it is rumored that isn't confirmed, but the PSN ID carrying over is confirmed. Um, that is all the information I have for you guys right now. I will be doing more as it comes out, and I will let you guys know as soon as I do. So, um, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what system you guys are getting, and just... Let me know what you think of the commentary, and I'll catch you guys later, and thanks for watching.